Okay, so let's be clear here, we're not talking about you taking on another full-time job on top of your sporting commitments. What we're talking about is the equivalent of training and planning. So I'm guessing that when you have a training plan, you have an end goal, and then you break that down into small chunks that you do over time. And those small incremental gains end up in you achieving your goal. And it's exactly the same with transition planning. You're not going to get straight to the end goal straight away. You break it down into small chunks and do it when you have the time. Now, all we need a lot of this time for is um, doing research, and that can be done on a phone and with the internet. Two things which you will have readily available most of your day. So if we think about maybe somebody who wants a career in the creative industries, so you could start by spending 10 minutes uh, when you're at the end of a training session or if you're traveling somewhere, and instead of checking your social feeds, perhaps go on Google and start to research job titles for people in business who have a creative job. Start to look at some of the qualifications that they have start to look at some of the sectors that they work in and start to build a picture of what this might look like for you. This can all be done in small manageable chunks around your schedule and it doesn't interfere with any of your current routines. You could look um, at the LAPS website or use the apps that they've got or speak to somebody like myself and we can actually put a program in place to help you break this down into small manageable pieces which will help you build a career plan for what you're going to do when you move out of sport. So it's all manageable and we're all here to help.